There seems to be little that we need to actually do here in Wisconsin to encourage you to enjoy all that the dairy state has to offer. This is June Dairy Month, and you have an incredible menu right now to choose from. Angie Edge from the Wisconsin Dairy Council joins us this morning. First of all, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you. And you've had a lot of people walking by here kind of drooling all over this. <laughs> um, Chuck actually was just asking about the whipped cream. So <laughs> you have got uh, 12 special recipes for this month that have come out just for June Dairy Month. We do, and it's, it's such an exciting time of year. Happy June Dairy Month to you. Of course, we live in Wisconsin, which is America's dairy land. We have a 26 billion dollar dairy industry here and each year we come out with a new June Dairy Month brochure lots of very colorful recipes that I brought for you to try today and the great thing about all of these is because dairy products have such a nice rich flavor you don't need a lot of other ingredients each of these mm -hmm. recipes have only five ingredients so oh. anyone can make them <laughs> this looks outstanding this is actually a vanilla yogurt French toast we're using cinnamon bread and dipping it in a mixture of eggs and vanilla yogurt of course, we're using butter to cook the French toast, flipping it over one time, putting some butter and sugar on top, some fresh strawberries, and of course, topping yeah. it off with some real whipped cream. Not the fake stuff, <laughs> the real this, stuff. This one's very interesting, too, because it's a chilled raspberry soup. So you can actually use it as a dessert, as a breakfast entree. It's, it reminds me a little bit of a smoothie. So there's real raspberries. There's also vanilla yogurt. There's some yogurt that I topped off the top, some um, sugar, and also a little bit of lemon zest as well. So nice. it has a wonderful, rich, and tangy sweet flavor. And then flavor. tell us what we have here, and then I want to get to some other stuff. Okay, this is a sweet like. and crunchy um, cream cheese spread. It's cream cheese and cottage cheese with some raisins and walnuts. You can spread it on fruit or also some bagels. So lots of great recipes, 12 recipes that you can find online and several in the recipe brochure as well. What's your favorite? My favorite, I love the strawberries and the real whipped cream. Oh. Of course, both of them are so special to Wisconsin. Breakfast is one of my favorite <laughs> meals of the day, so that looks fantastic. And it's ex an exciting time of year. If you log on to our website, you can find several June Dairy Month events. As you know, this weekend, Cows on the Concourse. Next weekend, the Dane County Breakfast on the Farm. Several, over 60 um, breakfast on events of farm, on farms If someone's Wisconsin. never been to that, and I was, I was given the wrong time cue, so we have a little <laughs> bit more time than, than uh, what I thought, but let's talk about breakfast on the farm. For somebody that's never been to that, Angie, what is that experience like, and why would somebody want to go to that? Well, it's a great family event, especially if your kids have never been to a farm before. You get to see real-life animals. You get to experience a dairy farm. See actually where your food comes from, and June Dairy Month's a great time to not only thank our dairy farmers, but really see the whole process of how our food is made and how it comes to Really us. an incredible opportunity to Of get course, out. there's entertainment and great recipes and meals as well. And then <laughs> anything else that you want to point out about the month in particular where there are events happening you really hope people will get out to? The main thing is to visit our website um, and you can find all the listing of events. You can find all the recipes and um, basically everything you need. All <laughs> right. Support our dairy industry here in Wisconsin. Angie, thanks so much for Thank coming you. out. We really appreciate it and uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon.